Hi guys, my name's Russell and I make race and guide videos for iRacing on YouTube. If that sounds like it might be your bag, please do consider hitting that subscribe button, maybe that little bell so you get notified whenever I release a new video or go live on my live stream. We are in week 9 of VRS GT Sprint Season 4 2020. Um, this week, the series brings us to Sonoma. Um, don't know how familiar some of you will be with this track it doesn't get a lot of time in the service unfortunately but what a track it is the elevation changes here are incredible the off camber uh track dropping away narrow little dangerous bits of course to negotiate it's got a lot going for it and it's a hell of of a good drive once you've got that uh that lap nailed down it feels great driving around here um but yeah it's a tough one it's a tough one don't forget to grab my setup and my ghost cars for the ferrari 488 uh from my discord channel uh just check it out in the description below uh if you are interested in getting the setups and ghost cars and the guide early uh, so uh, before the week starts if you want to get a drop on your competitors then you can become a gentleman driver which is a member of my youtube channel um, you get a few other perks and bits and bobs uh, emojis if that's your cup of tea um, and also um, kind of restricted access in discord uh, and things like that so if that sounds like it might be of interest uh, you should see the join button just below give it a wallop and have a look see what you think I'm going to do the usual thing we'll do the in-car lap we will do the chase cam and then we will break down every single corner um, enjoy it here this week let me know how you're getting on in the comments below you know um, let us know what you think of the track let us know what your times are like and how you're finding the race in here this week and if i don't see you before hopefully i'll see you out there on the track cheers guys
okay guys obviously we, we need to have a good previous lap to get a good start here we haven't got enough room to make a mistake towards the end of the lap and and remedy it for the next one so assuming a good last lap we're going to come out nice and wide we're in fifth we're still accelerating after the cone we're going to drop out of the accelerator and we're going to be steering in towards the left hand side of the track now this is probably the toughest corner on the track or one of the toughest and really demonstrates uh what sonoma is really all about so we're coming in we're starting to break at the tire wall we're just dabbing at the moment because if we break heavily now the car's so far off balance you're just going to lose the car so at the moment you know we're coming out of the accelerator we're going up a hill we're turning the wheel so that's actually gonna apply some brake for us already that's happening right now and then as soon as we're straight we want to be straight over to the left hand side here and this is where we've got to hit the brakes pretty hard get the car down to second gear pretty sharpish now, i had to do some just some uh, oversteering and sort of correct corrective steering there just just because the car is really hard to keep balance in this area so you have to really really uh kind of watch your step so we we broke up to about sort of 50 60 percent there and we've bled right out the brake now what we want to do really is not what i just did there which was just bounce on the edge of this curb it's like a rippled curb um really what you want to do is just keep close to the yellow line um that the, there's nothing to gain only time to lose by mounting the curb and you know i mean i i did a little bit there it wasn't too bad but you've got to be slow uh back out on the accelerator here because again there's quite a large sort of weight transfer happening as you brow that hill around the corner the car wants to continue going up out to the left so you've got to really ease in on the accelerator so the car doesn't th keep pushing you off the track there so we need to throw ourselves over to the right hand side of the track uh, i'm going to use all the revs in third here and then just as the just as the corner starts i'm just going to dab the brakes really gently just to put the uh weight on the front tires just to grip up the front of the car and then we're going to turn in we're, we're just we're just cruising here at the moment tight to this curb back on the accelerator full for just a second and then we're going to brake quite lightly here we, again we're going uphill so you know that that's really going to help us but what we're looking to do is just to take a bite out of the corner of this right hander to really help us um avoid what can be really quite a slow corner so the car's jumping up over this curb we're not going to get a 1x unless we really really you know go way too far over it but if as you can see of the angle of the car here we've already got half of this corner sorted and because yet again we brow a hill the track drops away um on exit of the corner it's very easy to overshoot here so if we want to keep some momentum we're going to chew a little bit of the corner off this curb and then we're back on the gas down the hill and we're looking towards the end of the curb we just want to break a little bit before the end of the curb and we're going to have to break pretty hard because we're going downhill and we're approaching like a second gear corner here it's a tricky one this so just before the end of the curb we're breaking down to second and then we're starting our turn in and you can't actually see the apex at the moment it's hidden but it's going to reveal itself again we don't really want to touch this curb we just want to keep tight to the yellow line and then as soon as we're at halfway around just before the apex we're nice and steady building up the accelerator and use this exit curb here we're going to go up to fourth tight here but let the car float out a little bit if you've got cold tires around here you're going to lose the car so you can't do this bit flat out until you've got nice warm tires but we're coming to yet another brow of yet another hill uh going into a, yet another corner 
Um, and there's a massive elevation change coming. It's very hard to judge the breaks here. But what we're going to do is we're going to break as we brow the hill. As soon as we can see the corner, we're going to start turning into it. We're going to drop ourselves down into third. And the, the, the sort of aim here is to try and keep reasonably tight to the inside. Now you can float out here at this point. Um, and if you see the wall coming up on the right hand side, you don't want to be mid track at this point. You want to be more on the inside. But you can float out a bit because you do want to be able to steer in and hit the gas. I was quite late on the gas on this corner. Um, but I did enough. We're steering as far as we we would want at the moment any more than this and we're going to start kind of skidding and and having traction issues up to fourth and all being well we've got the curb very easy to overshoot here um lots of practice definitely it took me ages to nail that so we're looking at these boards on the left hand side we're parked over to the left and just as we're passing the green board here, we've got a blue board, green and then red. We're going to hit the brakes super heavily. We're coming down to um, second gear. We've got a very odd right-hander with a double apex. And we're going to want to turn in as soon as we can see the curb start to appear. Now, I touched the curb here. Again, you don't really want to touch it, but we're down to second. And this steering angle we've got, we're going to keep. And we've, we've bled incredibly slowly out of the brakes here. And then as soon as the curb on the right appears, we're back into the gas. And we're going to still maintain, essentially, this turning angle. As we build up the accelerator nice and slowly quite a wide exit which is nice now we're tight to the left curb here this is a tricky combination we don't want to take too much of these two curbs on the right hand side they'll really upset and unbalance the car but we do want to be on the right side of the track here now, I'm going to dab the brakes just a touch, just to load up the front tyres. We're going to throw ourselves at the inside kerb in a minute. We're not going to steer hard into it. Uh, we're going to nudge our way into it. Otherwise, the, the back wheels are, are, going to, are going to be unimpressed. So we really eased into the turning angle there. We're back on the gas for a period. We're going to drop out now. Just touch the brakes again. I mean, you don't always need the brakes there. Um... But it's wise. And then as soon as we're mid-curb here, we're building up the gas again. Um, and we're going to maintain quite a firm right-hand steering angle. Because, guess what? <laughs> we're going around the corner. The track's going to drop away on exit. So, the car's going to get really light over this brow. Upshifting to fifth early can really help here. Um, if you're feeling like you're struggling and the car's getting a bit snaky, uh, a short shift to fifth is not going to do you a great deal of harm here. I, I had quite a clean run on this bit, so I didn't need to do it, but quite often I would. And then we're going to keep the car tight to the left now. And then we've got this curb. We're going to mount the curb and we're going to, just as we hit the edge of the curb, we're going to dab on the brakes, but then we're just going to keep a few percent of brake on while we lean ourselves into the right-hand curb. Now, don't steer heavily here. We're just tipping the wheel, and then we're on the curb, and as soon as we're on the curb, we can hit the accelerator, full gas, and then turn the wheel nice and firmly. And that's going to keep us just on exit there um and we're coming down to the slowest corner on the course now 
and it's really quite a tricky breaking zone here too. So we're looking at the boards on the left again. We've got this uh, green Kawasaki board. And then we've got the red Budweiser racing board. And just on the cusp of the two, we're going to slam those brakes on. We just want to miss these two cones on the left. Actually, you can kill these cones, not get an off track and have a really, really nice wide entry. But I've had too many run ins with cones stuck under the car to uh, to really want to do that. Um, so we're tight over to the left. We're all the way down into first gear and we've started our turn in just at the cone. Now, as we're bleeding out of the brakes now, this is when we throw our hard steering angle and we're about to apex. You can take a lot more of a tighter line around here. Um, as long as, obviously, you don't hit the tyre barriers, you're actually pretty safe around here. Um, and then we're back on the accelerator pretty firmly. We need to get that wheel unwound sharpish, otherwise we're going to have traction issues. So we've built up the accelerator quite slowly to give us a chance to unwind the wheel. We're going to exit as close to this wall as we can. And then we're done. That's uh, 129.395 at Sonoma. Heck of a tough track. Really, really rewarding when you get it right. If you put in the extra hours here this week, you've got a good shout at a good result, I would, I would guess. Um, so best of luck. Let us know how you're getting on in the comments. Please do drop a like if you found it useful. Please do subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Don't forget to grab my setups from the Discord. And if you want um, a little bit more advanced warning with the setups and the guides, then become a channel member and I will sort you out uh, with my setups and stuff early so you can get a drop on a big week of racing. All right, cheers, guys. Have a good one. If I didn't see you before, hopefully I'll see you out there on the track.